Hello everyone. Welcome to the playlist of high voltage engineering. In this session, I'll be solving a numerical example on surge impedance and surge impedance loading. In the previous video, I have explained the details on surge impedance and surge impedance loading. Please do visit that particular video and get the information on surge impedance and surge impedance loading so that it will be easy to solve this numerical example. Straight away, let me explain the particular numerical example for you. Let us read out the question first. A three phase single circuit transmission line is 400 km long. If the line is rated for 220 kV and has the parameters such as resistance equal to 0 0.1 ohms per kilometer, inductance L equal to 1.26 millihenry per kilometer, and the capacitance C equal to 0 0.009 microfarad per kilometer. Here they have mentioned the conductance that is equal to zero Siemens. Find the following parameters. You are supposed to calculate the surge impedance and the velocity of propagation neglecting the line first. So once you calculated these two parameters A and B, you are expected to compute if a surge of 150 kilovolt and infinitely long tail strikes at one end of the line, what is the time taken for the surge to travel the other end of the line? So these are the three things you are supposed to calculate. So first and foremost, let me note down what are the parameters they have provided. Of course, we can note down those parameters. First and foremost, I would like to note down this is an HV system. That means 220 kV. Okay, that is the operating voltage. And the length of the transmission line, high voltage transmission system that is equal to 400 km. And the parameters, line parameters such as resistance and inductance value, capacitance value, all those things you can note down. And also the conductance is equal to zero Siemens. Okay, these are the parameters they have given. So you have to note down those parameters. Let me show you how I did this, this particular numerical example. So given data, I have noted down all the parameters which they have provided. See, these are the given data. So unit you have to mention Siemens. Okay. So these are the parameter I have noted down. Now, what I am supposed to calculate first? I would like to calculate the surge impedance first. So you can recall the equation of surge impedance after watching the previous video. As you know that in transmission lines, there will be capacitance as well as inductance. The reactive power supplied by the capacitance will be equal to the reactive power absorbed by the inductance. Based on that, I have derived the expression for surge impedance. The expression for surge impedance that is given by square root of L by C. You can call surge impedance are Z0 or ZS or ZC, anything you can call. So if you take the ratio of L by C, square root of L by C, I'm going to get the value of surge impedance. So after calculation, I'll be getting the value of surge impedance equal to 374.2 ohm. So this is the value of surge impedance. You can note though. So I have got the surge impedance equal to 374.2 ohm. So what is the next parameter I would like to calculate? You can just check it up. The next parameter I am supposed to calculate, the velocity of propagation neglecting the line. So there is a formula, velocity of propagation. Let us recall the formula for calculation of velocity of propagation. The velocity of propagation, the equation is given by square root of, sorry, 1 by square root of LC. 1 divided by, you can substitute the value of L and C. So after substituting the value of L and C, you will be getting uh, the velocity of propagation of that particular traveling wave. So velocity of propagation of traveling wave that is equal to 1 by square root of LC, you will be getting 3 into 10 to the power 5 kilometer per second. So this is the value of velocity of propagation. You can note down this. So what is the third parameter? I need to calculate the time for reaching the traveling wave from one end of the transmission line to another end of the transmission line. Anyway, you know the uh, total distance of the traveling wave that is equal to 400 kilometer. And also you have computed the velocity of propagation. Okay, from the from these two relations, I can easily calculate the time taken for the surge to travel to the other end of the transmission line. So how, how to make out this? You can recall the formula. So what is the equation for velocity? The equation for velocity is nothing but velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. This is absolutely right. So I need to calculate the time for traveling the particular traveling wave from one end of the transmission line to another end of the transmission line. 
so you can uh, segregate the value of time time is equal to displacement by velocity so displacement is nothing but here 400 kilometer length okay that i consider as a displacement so 400 displacement is equal to 400 kilometer that is nothing but the length of the transmission line and also the velocity we have recently computed that means uh, 3 into 10 to the power 5 kilometer per seconds so you can able to get the value of velocity so uh, you have to substitute the time is equal to displacement ratio of displacement to the velocity displacement is 400 kilometer and the velocity is 3 into 10 to the power 5 kilometer per second so kilometer and kilometer get cancelled finally uh, only milliseconds that is remaining regarding the unit concern so 1.33 millisecond for time taken for the search to travel to the other end of the conductor other end of the side of that particular transmission line is nothing but 1.33 millisecond so we have computed the three parameters such as surge impedance velocity of propagation finally time taken for the search to travel to the other end of the transmission line okay so these are the three parameters which we have computed this may help you for doing the design problem okay so this is the importance of surge impedance then velocity of propagation and how to calculate the time for uh, computation from one end of the transmission traveling from one end of the transmission line to another end of the transmission line if you are having any queries you can put up in the description comment box okay comment box you can able to give the suitable comments which portion you are having doubts surely i will revert back finally thank you for listening this video